Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So just within two weeks, OnePlus have started rolling out another build of Oxygen OS 13 for OnePlus 8, 8 Pro, 8T and OnePlus 9R, which is Open Beta 2. So in this video, let's take a look at what all changes OnePlus have done with this newer build of Oxygen OS 13. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here I have my OnePlus 8 on which I've already installed the latest build of Oxygen OS 13 which is Open Beta 2. If I go to About section, here you can see Android version is Android 13 and Beta 2 comes with 5th October 2022 security patch. If you talk about the version, version is F.12. And if you guys wish to install this build, I've given all the download links in the description below. Just download the file, place it inside the internal storage. Here you can see I've downloaded the entire file. I was already running Open Beta 1, but if you guys are running Oxygen OS 12.1 version C.35 or C.36, you can still perform a local update. Once you place the file, you just have to go to settings, about section, tap on version, Tap on build number 7 times until you see you are a developer now. Once you enable developer option, tap on the Oxygen OS updater and here you can see 3 dots. Soon you tap on it, you will get an option of local install. You guys won't see local install until you enable developer option. So make sure to enable this. After that, just select the file which you have placed it inside the internal storage and you are good to go. But one thing you have to keep in mind if you are running Open Beta 1 and Oxygen OS 12.1 version C.35 and C.36, then only you can install this latest build of Oxygen OS 13. And guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now first let's take a look at the benchmark results. So here when it comes to benchmark testing, I did notice bit of issues here. The device wasn't showing its potential. Here you can see these are the benchmark results without high performance mode wherein single core have scored 903 and multi core have scored 3064. But when I turned on the high performance mode, I did not see any kind of improvements in the benchmark results. So I guess OnePlus have done some restrictions to improve the battery life. Also we did CPU throttling test and where you can see CPU maximum throttled only up to 80% and there were also dips in the graph. So I think OnePlus have done some changes to improve the battery life. Battery life will get to know once we start using the device. I was already using for the review purpose and I don't have any kind of complaints layer to the battery backup. So here you can see this is the battery cycle which I used to get. I used to get 4 hours of screen on time on first Oxygen OS 13 open beta but I'll update you guys in the in-depth review about the battery backup on beta 2. The only problem on beta 1 was Google service framework was draining a lot of battery and I don't think it's an issue of Oxygen OS I think it's an issue with Google applications now talking about the change logs with the first change log itself oneplus says that they have improved the battery life so as I told you guys battery life will get to know once we start using the device right now if you see I charged my device yesterday night after updating the device and till now the screen on time is 1 hour and 24 minutes with 71% of battery still remaining after that they have fixed some display issues with the charging animation on the lock screen. So here you can see this is a screenshot which I took after updating the device and now it says warp charging instead of wook charging. Towards the left hand side you can see that video was recorded before updating the device wherein it used to say wook charging but now after the update it shows warp charge. So this is one change which I have noticed after updating the device to second open beta. Later they also fixed some issues layer to off screen gestures. So I did test out on previous build also. For me all the off screen gestures were working perfectly fine and everything seems to be working fine on this build also. So here I did not notice any kind of changes. But as per the change log OnePlus have mentioned they have fixed the display issues in off screen gestures. And later they have updated the security patch to October 2022. So these were the change logs and now talking about some of the changes which I know notice so one of them is i'm not sure guys whether this was previously the same on first open beta but i felt these two tiles size have been increased if i compare it to first open beta so if you guys are already running first open beta then do let me know in the comment section below and on first open beta when i was using this wallpaper you can see the color difference in both the icons i mean to say the shortcut icons and now let's check the same on open beta 2 we'll use the same wallpaper so this was the wallpaper let's apply and it's the same case i guess this is because of the wallpaper this doesn't happen with all the wallpapers but i have particularly noticed with this wallpaper which is applied right now and another issue which i had noticed on open beta 
beta 1 their youtube used to lag a little bit but now after installing beta 2 i did not find any kind of issues and most of the time when playing hdr videos the screen used to light up a lot that also seems to be taken care after beta 2 build so guys these were all the changes what oneplus have done with beta 2 of oxygen os 13 for oneplus 8 8 pro 8t and 9r wait for my complete review if you guys want to know if any bugs are present or not as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day